All right, in a previous video, I was asked to show how I designed this cup. So I am going to show you how to do that now. First thing I did is I did a search for Yeti tumbler or stainless steel. I looked at images, and when I found one I liked, I thought it had good distinct lines. There's real good definition on this one. So I'm going to save image as Yeti, Yeti Tumblr. Now let's go into Inkscape. File, open, be down at the bottom. I'm going to use this one. I think I like that a little better. I didn't realize I had that one. So I'm going to open this and I just leave it at this setting. Open. Okay, so now the next thing you want to do is go up here to Path, and you want to do Trace Bitmap, and you want to do Edge Detection, and I always do Live Preview so I can get kind of a feel for what I'm doing, if it's making a difference. And then I'm going to, I'm just going to go to the max on this. And you gotta, you gotta make sure you have the picture selected. I apologize for that. So this looks like about the most I'm gonna get out of this. So at this point, I'm gonna hit okay. And you can see when you pull this apart, my lines are left behind. So I just wanna take this and I'm going to Delete the original image and get rid of that. So now I have the image that I had before. I'm just going to go to File, Save As, Yeti. It's the newest version of it. Now that I have that saved, I can go back to Design Space. I'm going to go to Upload Images, Upload Image, Browse. Let's go down here to Okay, save, insert image, and here you go. Pretty simple, that was all there was to it. And if you want, you can always edit the size. So in this particular image, when it was imported, it came in at 11.2. It's probably closer to 7.75 or 8. And you just go in and adjust the height. And then if you want to bring in an image that you did for somebody, let's 
where the Falcons logo. So I like to do those with a maximum width of 3.5. That's going to make it a little bit too tall. So maximum height of 3. Let's drag that wonderful Falcons logo up in here. And there you go. Customer can now get an idea of what. Let's do one more. And let's do let's do this. Let's bring in a name. Add the text. Let's do to go something, here we go. Like 0.75. Let's sync up our colors. I just like to have it all look the same. That looks a little too wide. You can always go back and edit just to unlock the size. And let's make that three. I don't, I don't want it quite that big. Sometimes you gotta move it out of the way. So Now your customer knows what the front and back of their logo is going to look like of their cup and that's really all there is to it if you have any questions comment down below and i'll see what i can do to help thank you